use there every day. A fixture on the bridge by Dunkin Donuts. Between 7 and 10 a.m., she's become known as the Waving Lady. She waves at school buses, trucks, police cars, and they wave back. Good morning. Good morning. But if you were to pull over, you'd find out the Waving Lady is Pat Crossman. I just started waving and it just took over. That was a few years ago. She's been on the job nearly every morning since. At one point, walking all the way from Coventryville, two hours there and back. I don't have a driver's license. Now she lives in a camper just down Front Street, a much shorter commute for a job that pays nothing, but at the same time, everything. How does it feel like when people wave back? Great. Yeah. Because I don't have no family. I've never been married, never had no kids, and don't have nobody. Born in Cortland, Pat spent her childhood in the foster care system, living in Binghamton on and off through the years. Now, just wanting to be around people. You know, be nice to me and play. And, you know, that's what makes my day. And that goes both ways. Almost like you want to drive by a monument, you think you like seeing it that day, but if it if it was alive and there for you, she's like a town staple. It's really nice. Simic works the drive through at Duncan where the staff and customers have sort of adopted Pat. And she comes in here to warm up and get coffee and stuff like that, and we know her order. Blueberry coffee, extra cream, no sugar. And everybody knows when they see her meander on over here, they know it's, it's coffee time. And they're happy to give it. Because we all know one gesture can mean everything. You know, I don't have much, but, you know, I got to wait. In Binghamton, for Fox 40 News, I'm Amy Hogan.